Okay, now that you've gone through all the videos, the next step is to make sure that we understand what we've just learned, okay? And actually prove it to ourselves that we do understand it. Um, so what I want you to do is to spend a little time um, just going over the rules. Now, as I mentioned in the video, you can kind of, you can feel free to eliminate the formal level, okay? If that's making things too complicated uh, or just too overwhelming or too much, just eliminate that, okay? We're gonna focus on the common level, making the change form of the verb, okay? Um, so what I want you to do, and basically this is, you know, just, Memorize, if you haven't done already, the rules of the clock theory, okay? So just talk yourself through it. So we're doing all verbs today. Sorry, we're doing o verbs today. Um, and so what I want you to do is just talk through the clock theory. So o verbs and a verbs bring in an a, okay? So therefore, o verbs bring in an a. So when we're conjugating, so let's take uh, bo dot, for example. I want you to, what, again, cut out the formal. I'll start with the, cat, the, the common level. So you've got bo, and then you're going to bring in an a. So you've got bo a, okay? And just... Walk yourself through that, and then to go down to the casual level, we, sorry, then to complete the common level, we're just gonna add the yo. So we've got bio, or said more correctly and more commonly, bio, and then to go down to the casual, we're gonna drop the yo and just say ba. So we've got bio, ba, okay? And then there's gonna be some blanks underneath where you can fill in the change, the unchanged, and then the past tense and the future tense. So the unchanged, again, we've started with boda, so we're going to drop the da, our unchanged is bo, okay? And then our changed is ba, or bwa. And then we're going to go to the past tense, past tense, which uses the chain form of the verb, so asayo. And then we're going to go to the future tense, which uses the unchanged form, so polkoi, okay? So what I just did there, I want you to do that with each verb as you go through the workbook, okay? Say it as you do it. Um, and anytime you get stuck, okay, anytime you get stuck, that's totally fine. What that does is show you that there's something that you don't quite get yet. Figure out why you're stuck. Figure out why you don't get it. Um, if, that if that requires going back and watching the video, and if that doesn't work, send me an email, whatever it is. Figure out why you're stuck. Figure out why you can't do it without looking at the answer, okay? And go through the whole workbook like that. If it takes you a while and you're kind of, you know, you didn't really get it with much flow, then feel free to just take out a scrap piece of paper and write each verb on there and go through it again. So, bio, uh, excuse me, so the question, we'll leave the question up for now, or if you want to include it, bio, bio, okay, and then the, the, the common form, pa, pa, okay, if you want to include the question, you can, you totally don't have to. Um, so do that and go through each one, and again, if, if there's not much flow the first time through, but you've started to get the hang of it, then do it again. Just write each verb, go through each form of it, and go down, go down the list, okay? That's the first thing I want you to do. Okay, now that we've proved to ourselves that we, that we understand the material, we can go through the whole list of verbs uh, and complete the charts without looking, okay? Once we've got that, the next step, and this is the step that a lot of people leave out, okay? The next step is to then just improve just practice it again and again until we can actually produce it out of our mouths. Okay, it's one thing to understand it. It's another thing to understand to the point where we can produce it. We're going to do this a few times, and as we do, we're going to notice that we actually, our ability to do it in the beginning might be super slow, and that's totally fine. Of course it's slow if you're just learning it. That's totally fine, but what you want to notice is that the first time you go through it versus the second time you go through it versus the third time you go through it, that it's actually going to get a little bit easier. It's going to become a little bit more, you'll be like, okay, I'm really starting to get this, okay? Now, a grave error that a lot of people make is to, once they understand something, and they might have practiced a little bit, once they understand it, they're like, okay, I'm ready for the next chapter, I'm ready for the next stuff, and that's, okay, I think that's a grave error. There's a lot of people that struggle with, you know, they've learned something, but when it comes to recalling it in actual conversation, they, they tend to get stuck and, you know, be it nerves or whatever, and that just... I mean, any nerves, if you're speaking in a group or whatever it might be, just compounds the fact that you may not have prepared enough, okay? So what we're going to do is spend some time making it more automatic, noticing our ability to do it improves, and then I, I'm going to suggest that we keep doing that over the next day and a half until you go to the next chapter um, and just like, just, well, I'll get into the details in a second. So what I want you to do is go down the list, okay? Now, for my example, I'm going to include the formal levels. Uh, again, you don't have to if you're finding that overwhelming. If you're ready for it, great. If not, leave it out. For my examples, I'm going to include it, okay? So <clears throat> what I want you to do is just have your list. So if you haven't written out an actual list um, other than the workbook, I, I would suggest you do that. Just make it nice and neat. Write the charts. Just go through it. Do it one time. Because so what you're going to do is hold on to that paper. Keep it in your pocket for the next day uh, and pull it out anytime we have some downtime. So if you haven't written that list, just do that now. And then what I want you to do is just, you can look at the list just to give yourself the cue of whatever verb you're going to do. So I'm going to start with jota, okay, to be good. And then I'm just going to go through the chart, and I'm going to 
go through it sort of in my head, understanding it, and saying it as I do, okay? It's the ability to say it that we're, that we're trying to improve here. So I'm going to start and say jota, josumida, josumnika, or joseyo is the other form of the question. Coming down, okay? I understand the clock rule brings in an ah, so joa yo, the yo is to make it common. Joa yo, and then drop the yo, joa. Okay, so do that. And then I want to say the, the, the unchanged form is jo, okay? Just dropping the da. The change form is joa. Go to the past tense, I'm going to use the changed form. Joa soyo. Go to the future form, chorukoyo. Okay, so I want you to do that for each verb, okay? So the next verb I'm going to do is boda. Boda. Omnida, omnika, hoseo. Bio, ba. Pasoyo, okay, past tense, porcoyo. Okay, so just go down that list again. Next verb I'm going to do is nulda. Okay, now again, this one ends in a lil. When we drop the dog, it's got a lil on the end. Um, sorry about the noise over there. <coughs> so this one in the common level is a little bit special. Again, just cut it out if you're not ready for that, okay? For my example, I'm going to include it, okay? Nomnida, nomnika, or noseo. Norayo, nora. Past tense, norasoyo. Future tense, norgoyo. Okay? And the more you do this, so nomnida, nomnika, noseyo, norayo, nora, norasoyo, norgoyo. Okay? Just showing you that I am at the stage where I can just rattle through. And that's what I want you to get to. So, again, the first time you go through it, probably super slow, and that's great. It's just a sign that there is something, there is room for improvement there. Do it once. Do it a second time, okay? And notice, and just notice. If there's no improvement, that's fine. Just notice it, whether there is or not. Do it a third time, and I think you're gonna start to find that it is starting to get repetitive. You're like, okay, I'm starting to get this, I got it. Don't move on. Take that paper that you've written things up, fold it up, put it in your pocket. You're watching TV in a commercial. Pull it out, go through the list. You're just before bed, go through the list. When you wake up tomorrow, go through the list. Spend like two minutes at a time. And just doing this is gonna make it more and more and more automatic. Even in a day, if this stuff is new to you now, you will notice how much you've improved tomorrow. If you did this for a week, you'd have it, okay? And then when you're out in conversation, so for some people, I don't know about you, but for some people, again, when they're speaking with people or they're in a group or whatever, they tend to get nervous. The words don't, you know, don't come out so easily. Um, and by being more prepared, by having built that skill to make it more automatic, you're going to be able to overcome that easier, okay? I mean, we can't change our personalities with it, but we can change our preparedness for that conversation. And that's the whole point. This is the, the key I want to work on. It's not just understanding, but then practicing it until it's automatic, okay? So do that, and then there's, I think there's one more step maybe for homework, maybe, maybe excuse me, mem momer <laughs> that's coming out well. Memorizing the vocabulary for the next, so basically a, a, a little preview for the next chapter. That way when you, the reason I do that is when you get into the lesson, you don't have to focus and have all these new words. You've kind of familiarized yourself with them a little bit. Um, and then when you get into there, they're, they're a little bit familiar. So you can focus on the rules and focus on actually practicing the skill and understanding it. So anyways, this video has gone on longer than I wanted. But I hope that helps. Uh, if you've got any questions or comments, you can either email me or leave a question down below. And I hope you're enjoying the program so far. And I'll speak to you soon. Thank you.